Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how to get the value from the uh, this drop down or selected tag. For example, if I select Shisha, I'm getting the value of the Shisha, which I have set three. Also, we are going to look if uh, we don't want the value, we want this text only. So how to get that using JQ. So let's check uh, start. Okay, this was the code. So let me remove all of the code. We are going to write it once again. Okay, so I have used the bootstrap and the Bulma CDN link over here. Okay, so let us start. So let me take first a section. Okay, I want to put into the center of class as text center. And I want margin top equal to six. Okay. And let me take one container also. Fine. So now let us take our select tag and I want to give a name, let's say language for line 90. Okay. Options I want to give, let me give five options and value, let me give one, two, Three, two, five. On first, let's say JavaScript. Okay. On second, let's say PHP. Third, let's say C sharp and uh, Python. And let's say Java. Okay. So let us see how our drop down is looking. Yes, so this is our uh, drop down. Okay, so let us add a little bit uh, tag or label um, below it. So we are going to fetch value from here and we are going to set value to that label. So let us do that also. Okay, so just let me give one class here to select. So which will give pull my effect to this selected class right and below that let us give one label okay and for let's let us give name id equal to yeah. So what do we want? So we want ki as soon as we select any language, it's the data. There are two things. Uh, first is value and second is this uh, text. So we, we will see both how to get that value also and how to get the text. Also. So let us write some JavaScript for uh, jQuery for that. So let me write a script tag. Okay. So first let me document ready so as soon as this document get ready we want to call this function okay and let us write code into this function okay as soon as our document is ready what do we want so if this uh, we want to put a selector on what on this class okay if this is selected so top, if this is a class dot on on what we want to put so on change okay so if there is a button or something else we put click but for the select tag especially we use change jQuery offered uh, this for select so when the select is change we want to call this function And whatever we want, we want we will write on this function. Okay. So what do we want? So first of all, we want to get the data. So whether it will be value or text. So let us grab initially value. So let's say var uh, data equal to. And uh, because we are inside this uh, select only, we can use this dot value. And we want to set now we are having the value of the data 
which is selected. Let's say you have selected on the C sharp, so I will get the respective value for the C sharp that is three. So I want to set this value to this lang language or uh, this demo. So how to do that? So let me put a selector on that demo dot html and uh, sorry dot text and uh, i want to write it okay so let us see if this is working or not we have put data on the place of this language okay so let me refresh the page yes and uh, let us select php yes so php we have given two so it is coming to for python or for java 5 so it is working fine so we are getting the value what if we want to get the text okay so let us see how to get the text okay so for text we need to write something different so children okay so whose children we are targeting option children okay if option children is selected we want what we want text of that right. so this is uh, when option children let's say we are talking about this children this children if anyone children is get selected we want what that text so this is how we are going to get that uh, text of that children so let us look okay so let me refresh yes the language is coming let's say uh, php Yes, PHP is coming. Let us say Python. Python is coming. Shisha. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, from this way, you can get both data and its value and the text. If you put text, it will get the text. And instead of text, if you put value, you will get the value. If I put a value here, again, I will get the value. So let us see that also. Okay, so let me refresh the page. So now we need, we should get value, so two, yes. So we are getting respective value. So like this, you can get the value also in text also from the drop or the select. Thank you. Everyone.